everyone, welcome to another episode of Carolyn and Her Clues. So I just finished filming a trend send, and while I was in the midst of filming, and before I started the try-on, my stylist, Shannon, who I'm friends with from Stitch Fix, called me, all right? As I was talking on the phone with her, ding dong, my Stitch Fix came. <laughs> So I thought that was pretty funny. Um, yeah, I just got it. I'm going to be doing that unboxing. In case you don't know, Stitch Fix is just an online styling service. Uh, you fill out a style profile, choose items. Um, you don't choose items. You basically tell them what, what you want, what your price points you want. You can leave your stylist a note. My uh, stylist is Shannon from Shannon Style. She's another YouTuber, so she sees my style. We've actually spent time together. She knows my style, so she works really hard trying to find items and stitches, stitch fixes inventory to fit my needs. You pay them a $20 styling fee. However, I have the style pass. I don't know if they're offering that anymore, but I was grandfathered in years ago when I first started doing Stitch Fix and I lost the weight in 2018. It was a lifesaver trying to find petite clothing um, in limited places around me. It was very hard and they had a lot of stuff that I was able to wear to work and, and that fit me. Now that um, you know I'm work from home, my style has changed tremendously. I no longer need work clothes and I'm looking for more stylish and trendy items and Stitch Fix isn't always the greatest on that. So let's see what we have in this box. I did get a preview and I did choose three items. Kind of regretted the items that I chose to keep, but <laughs> it is what it is. Um, Shannon had to pick out two items and I see she was able to fulfill one of my requests, which was for a pair of black leggings. Um, for those that don't know, um, I work out at the gym almost every day, well, five days a week, and I go through leggings like crazy. And I recently did a purge of my leggings that were from Old Navy from like seven years ago. Even my husband says, okay, you can purge them and it's time to go. They, they've been through the ringer and back and they held up pretty well, but it was time, you know? <laughs> so if my husband says that, then you know there were time. So I did ask for another pair of leggings and they are in here. All right, I am doing the unboxing, so if you don't want to watch the unboxing, do the, the forward, fast forward to where the try-on comes on. So here is my bundle, okay? They give you a prepaid envelope. You can send back what you don't want. I don't know what I'm gonna do about my Trendsend yet, so it really depends on what's in this box, all right? Let's take out the invoice, you get an invoice, um, a styling sheet, which I never use, because personally, I don't like the combinations they put together. <laughs> Okay, so the first item in this is the 41 Hawthorne Irene Pointel sweater in green, size extra small for $58. So it is a pretty green sweater. Um, I've been looking to add more green to my wardrobe, but I think I've recently purchased enough green at this point. It is Pointel if you can see that, and you can see it's striped, but the stripes are like a wiggly stripe, not a straight stripe. I thought that was kind of cute and different. It does have that crew neck, which I'm not so fond of. And in looking at the sweater, it's going to be tunic length on me, I think. And that isn't always my favorite length. It makes me look frumpy. Um, the sweater, let's see if I can find what the sweater is made out of. It's a nice spring sweater, nice weight. Machine wash, cold, gentle cycle, lie flat to dry. 53% cotton, 40% rayon, and 7% nylon. So it's a nice cotton rayon mix. It's a very cute swing sweater, size extra small, but like I said, it ain't floating my boat right now, okay? Um, and it was something I picked out in my preview. It's a cute sweater, it's just not saying by me, okay? Up next is this Mattia cat sleeve knit top and beacon. They're calling this blue, this looks more purple to me. Size extra small. It's only $38. It's, um, what is it? Very, I guess, nylon-y, poly nylon. All right. So it's like the bateau style neckline. Um, I, I say this is, they're calling it a cap sleeve. It's barely a cap sleeve. It's like almost sleeveless. We'll try it on. Um, like I said, it's more of a purple than blue. Um, I can see where they sewed the tag here on the side. So not so neat on the sewing there. 96% polyester, 4% spandex. And I'm pretty sure I picked this out in my preview as well. So this would be kind of warm in the summer. I do like the color. It's, it's like a royal purple, I would call it. Like a majestic purple. Okay, 
Up next is a surprise to me. Shannon picked this out. This is a top by Faherty. If you don't know me, I love this, this name brand. Vintage Silk Genevieve shirt in green. Extra small, $168. Yow. <laughs> uh, I do like this name brand. I wouldn't be willing to pay that price for something that brings tears to my eyes. Um, I like this shirt. It's a button down um, that is not buttoned, obviously. Um, it's in green. It's, I wouldn't say it's see-through, but it's kind of sheerish a little bit. It's not exactly opaque. And it's 80% viscose, 20% silk. Nice. It is a nice feel to it. Really nice feel. And it's velour, all right? It is a velour. So even though it's viscose and, and uh, silk, it's a velour material. So it is a really, really nice material. I will try it on. Um, I have like a green polyester satin blouse um, in a brighter green by Vince Camuto. I don't think I, I foresee myself spending $168 on this, but it, it is very nice and a very nice quality. But let's give it a go. As you can see, I'm thinking about my transcend. <laughs> All right, up next are the leggings. These are something I actually need. They are by Under Armour. They are the Team 7 Ace Ankle Crop Performance Legging, and they're only $45. That's not a bad price at all. So I'll have to try them on, make sure they're not bunching at my knees, which is one of my pet peeves. Uh, I run, not a fast runner, but I run. <laughs> and I don't like it when leggings bunch on the back of my knees because they're too long, okay? But other than that, they, they I think they'll fit. All right, we'll have to see how, how I can get these over my hips. <laughs> All righty. And lastly, ooh, okay, okay, these are different than what I thought they were going to be. You never know. So these are the Cosmic Blue Love Philippa Mid-Rise Crop in Light Purple, size zero petite, $98. So... They're definitely like a mauve color, all right? They're called light purple. They're more movie, And I've been looking to add some more mauve to my wardrobe. Um, they're a jogger utility style, okay? They got the um, utility pocket. I guess this is not a utility pocket, like a slash pocket here. And the pork chop pockets there. And the style in the back are this, the regular patch pockets. And it is a zip and a button front, okay? So these are a little bit different than I expected. Um, I'm going to try them on and give them a fair shot. All right, give me a minute and I'll do a try on. Okay, so the first thing I have on is the beacon top. Now I must say this top, I do love this color. I think this color is absolutely gorgeous. I'll come a little bit closer. They're calling this blue and I would call this like a royal purple. So. Not quite a royal blue, but more leaning towards purple. I do like the style of this top. I like the high neck, like the bateau, bateau style or boat neck style. I do like the cap sleeves. I think it's okay here. At first I thought, oh my gosh, you can cut in right here. But I think I think it's doable. Um, I like the, the way it fits me. It is a little long, but nothing. A front tuck doesn't cure. Uh, cure. So I'll, sh I'll bring it out to show you how long it is on me. Again, I'm only five foot two. So I have to front tuck it in order to make it look decent. Um, I like everything about this top, except the quality. The material is really thin and you know, the craftsmanship and there's no sewing, like this is like literally just a raw edge that is like tucked in, you know? I cannot see this top lasting that long. And, you know, I have so many clothes. I, I just cannot justify this top. I really just cannot. If this was like something that was making my heart thump and the quality was impeccable, I would definitely keep it. I would rather pay a little bit more and have something a little bit better quality. This, I'm sorry, I just don't feel the quality in this piece. Um, you know, I mean, it is a cute top, like it a lot, but I just can't justify it right now. So here's the back of it. And I paired it with my white jeans and my white slides, just so you can get an idea of how I would personally style this top adorable top. I'm just not going to keep it. All right, give me a minute. And I'm going to pop on the next item. Okay, first you're going to have to excuse my appearance. I am very disheveled. I had a massage this morning where she was massaging my head as well. 
<laughs> I did brush my hair, but now I'm doing my second unboxing. So it's a lot of filming, a lot of trying on, and my hair is just a frazzled mess. So the next one up is this 41 Hawthorne sweater. We didn't know, contrary to the beacon top, this is a nice quality sweater. So if you're interested in this sweater, I am not dissing it at all. This is a very nice sweater. It has the crew neck, which isn't typically my favorite, but it's not like really up high. It's a nice crew neck. Um, it has three quarter sleeves. It's a very pretty pantel. You can see the um, stripes. They're not like a, a straight stripe. They have like a little bit of curve to them. I kept this on with the white jeans because I wanted to show you that this isn't really white. <laughs> All right, so you can see the contrast here. It's off like an off white. It's not a pure white. So I wanted to show you, keep the jeans on to show you that contrast because I actually thought it was a white sweater when I pulled it out of the box. So as you can see too, it is a little long, but it wasn't as long as I thought it was going to be on me. If I were to wear this again, I would do a front tuck because I just think it would make me look a little bit taller than if I kept it out along my hips, all right? Plus, I don't wanna add bulk to the biggest part of my body. So this is a lovely top. It's just not screaming by me at this point, especially when I just box, unboxed that Transcend that I love everything, almost everything so much. So this is gonna go back, but I do highly recommend this sweater if you are interested in it. All right, here's the back of it. Okay, um, give me a minute. I think I'm gonna try on the last item with uh, the jeans that I just got for my trend things. I'm still trying to decide about those. And I also wanna let you know the leggings that were sent, they're too small. I couldn't get them over my hips and I didn't wanna risk tearing them. So those are not gonna be shown here. All right, give me a minute. I'm gonna put on the Faherty top. Okay, I have on the Faherty top. Um, this is by a company that is local to me. It's $168. Um, I do like this top. I do like it a lot. I put it on with the Ever Eve jeans that I also really like. <laughs> and my Franco Sardo mule clog loafers. So um, what, what am I gonna do? So here's my thinking. My thinking is this is a dark green velvet. It's kind of March, almost April already. And it's $168. So while I do love this top for the price and the season, I'm going to have to pass. It's a really, really nice top. And you know what, if it were on sale for 70 bucks, I might buy it, wear it once and then save it next for next year because it is a fairly classic style. I don't think anything outrageous about it. The material is absolutely beautiful. Um, again, it's like a, a velour velvet, okay, but it's made out of 20% silk and the rest viscose. Love, love this top. The jeans, they're for my trend stand. I still haven't decided yet. I'm going to go start digging through my piles of jeans and see what I have that might be similar. Um, and if I have something similar, I'm not going to keep these. One thing that I do notice about these is that they come full down to the bottom of my leg. They're not cropped at all, uh, these jeans. So that might make me want to keep these jeans. <laughs> so we're not doing too good on the stitch fix. So far, I'm not keeping anything. The leggings were too small, couldn't even get them on. The white and green sweater was nice, but was the same by me. The um, beacon top, that's, I'm sorry, that was inferior quality, won't do that. This top, beautiful, just kind of out of season. And last up, I'm going to try on the light purple slash move color cargo joggers. Give me a minute. Okay, I have the Cosmic Blue Love joggers on that are in this move type of color, light purple, um, for $98. And they're very comfortable. They fit, but I think they're fitting more form-fitting than they should. <laughs> so they're not uncomfortable. There's plenty of stretch in them. Um, I don't think the pockets are pulling. I'm just not comfortable with how tight these are. I think they're supposed to be a more relaxed fit and they're not. Moreover, um, I don't know who the heck other than a petite person, to, are these a petite, is that why? Maybe these are a zero petite, which would then explain it. Yes, they're 25 petite. They're a little bit shorter than I personally would like. Um, they're well way above my ankle and I think I would prefer to come to my ankle. So that kind of explains why these are a little bit more form fitting than I'd like. Um, I think I would rather try a regular size 25 in these. That said, 
I'm not looking really to add this color to my wardrobe. I'm kind of trying to stick more to the neutrals to my bottoms, the tans, the olives, even like the browns, grays, you know, black, um, blue jeans. I got them. I got plenty. I don't need anything. I really have way too many clothes, seriously. But um, these are nice. I would recommend them. Um, I don't know if I would necessarily pay $98 for them. I think that's a pretty steep price for them, to be honest with you. I, I like my sanctuary ones better. Uh, but yeah, that's just me. And here is the back of them. You see regular uh, patch pockets in the back and the pork chop style here in the front. And that is it. Um, so I think I'm going to be returning this entire fix, not keeping anything this time. Um, I went through my closet, through my jeans, and I think I'm going to be keeping those every eve jeans. I don't have any straight legs that aren't really distressed. They're, they're a little distressed, but not bad. And they're full length and I don't really, most of mine are cropped. So I think that kind of fits a hole and I really like them and they're comfortable and they're perfect length and there'd be like what I say 70 something dollars more so I think I'm going to keep them and uh this was not a bad fix I want to thank you Shannon for working very hard to try and find things that meet my style but this one was just okay you know sometimes you win sometimes you don't lose sometimes you lose and it's no big deal because there's no money out of my pocket for it Thank you again for returning subscribers. I appreciate your support. Give this video a thumbs up and click that notification bell to get notified of future videos from me. Take care. Till next time.